Okay, so Dr. Vanita is asking that which is the vasopressors of choice in cases of neurogenic shock. So understand that in cases of neurogenic shock, which is seen in spinal cord injury, the sympathetic tone of the blood vessels is lost below the uh, below the uh, spinal cord injury level, and because of that, what happens? The blood vessels are vasodilated, and because the parasympathetic uh, activity is unopposed, there is a bradycardia. So bradycardia and uh, uh, peripheral vasodilatation. So firstly, we need to bring the tone of the blood vessel. So for that, noradrenaline is the uh, is a good choice. So noradrenaline is used, and if with that also the tone is not increasing, we should we need to make sure that the patient is euvolemic. Then we can add vasopressin, which is a potent vasoconstrictor. And still, if the patient's blood pressure is not picking up and there is a bradycardia, we can use adrenaline also to it. So to increase a little bit of heart rate also. So by combination of these three. Neurogenic shock uh, can be tackled easily. So understand that uh, the patient should be euvolemic, noradrenaline, then vasopressin, and then adrenaline. So this is what we follow and which is written in the uh, books and literature. Thank you for asking. Do read more about it.